Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. She's been, she is the United Kingdom. She represents a part of me and a part of every British person. It just feels like a real end of an era and a change into, you don't know what's going to happen. She ascended the throne just after the Second World War. She championed the development of the Commonwealth from a small group of seven countries to a family of 56 nations spanning every continent of the world. If I had a, a power to get a visa to go to the UK for the funeral, I would have do that. I feel like she's my mother or my grandmother, you know, that's how I felt. And she was a big king Maharani. But in the British colony, she was also remembered by her family. She was also remembered by her family. She was also remembered by her family. We share our thanks for an incredible woman who we were lucky enough to call our queen. God save the king. God save the king. My mother gave an example of lifelong love and of selfless service. My mother's reign was unequaled in its duration, its dedication and its devotion. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty which have now passed to me. The Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III. Three cheers for His Majesty the King! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! It really feels quite difficult to say King Charles and not be celebrating our Queen. And I think, as I said, he's got really big boots to fill, but I think he's had such an amazing role model. I think it symbolises hope, hope that Harry and William can resolve their differences and move forward because I'm sure if the Queen would want one thing, she would want peace amongst the family. The principle of hereditary power, I think, is absolutely abhorrent in 2022. We found it was very calm and peaceful in there. The thing that I found quite emotional is the fact it's shocking to think she's in there, it still doesn't seem real. We're from the Caribbean, so no, we're not fans of the monarchy. The monarchy has taken enough from the British public, and I'm sure there are plenty of jewels that could be sold to pay for this. Very sad, but contented that uh, she's now come home. Oh, 
But then people sleep on the street every night of the week, you know? So how do they feel? We're just doing it for a few hours. We haven't had any sleep, but it's been good fun. You know, the camaraderie is out of this world. <laughs>